most loosely, a food desert is an area or a community that lacks access to a healthy, affordable foods. And when you look at the more nuanced definitions of what it is, generally you can look at it on a rural and urban basis. So urban areas, you know, metropolitan communities, there are pockets of New York City, pockets of Chicago, LA. They could be possible places where food deserts are located. And then you can also see them in rural communities, which are non-metro places, you know, more in the countryside. You can drive miles and miles before you even see a supermarket or a large grocery store. If we look back at the last, say, 100 years or so, we have more food outlet and food options than ever before. That's uh, an important concept to really focus on because it leads to another point of, you know, what if households don't have the ability to make the best choices because they have some limiting factor, and in particular, if their food environment or the places where they can access food is limited, what are those metrics or what are those factors that might influence a store to locate in a certain area? You know, what would influence uh, or affect the profitability of a store to locate in any community? So that's sort of where our paper really fills in uh, some of the research in that sense. And the bottom line is, you know, what is that market failure and what is the role of policy uh, to really address those deficiencies uh, in access across the country because what you eat really ultimately determines in some capacity uh, how healthy you can choose to be.